Hey, happy Saturday, you guys. I'm gonna try my best to hold the phone steady. So, um, of course, I am on a 28 day video challenge, but I thought I'd talk about trusting the part trusting the process, overcoming fears, and give you an update on my eye surgery. So back in November, two weeks before my marathon, I made the decision to get LASIK surgery. Um, I had one like a thousand um, dollars off, you know, when I went to the Southern Women's Show in October and I'm like, you know, I've always been curious because I can't see. My vision was so bad, you guys, that I only can see the big E, you know, when they do the thing on both sides, it was bad. It was really bad. I actually, not everybody knows this, not unless you're my family. I was born cross-eyed. How they corrected it was a patch and bifocals, the old school way. I've never had any surgery on my eyes. They wanted to have surgery on my eyes when I was a baby. My grandmother made sure she stepped in and said, no, you are not putting any kind of a treatment on this baby's eyes. So I'm thankful my grandmother stepped in being they did it the old fashioned way, literally may had a patch and bifocals and that's how my eyes got straight. That's how they were corrected. So, um, but in November I finally made a decision. It, you guys, I could not see. I literally had to sit within feet of the TV or on the floor in order for me to watch TV movies was challenging I could not it, as I was getting older the progression I don't wear glasses I should have but I just hate wearing glasses I just was very forgetful I was bad I was very very bad um, I did not like wearing contacts um, I struggled with eyeglasses um, and to keep them on so um, anyways I made the decision to get uh, PRK surgery and I got some um, in the beginning I was scared um, because I was not I was not fully aware and maybe wasn't given all the information of thank you for the hearts it means so much to me <laughs> I love you baby um, I wasn't given all the information um, as far as what the difference was and the different surgeries and things like that so when I went to go get my eyes checked I'm gonna try to make this long story short and stop beating around the bush um, they told me my vision was so bad on my left side that they couldn't do LASIK, that I only qualified for PRK. I was like, okay, whatever that is. I didn't do my research. Normally, I'm really good at that. Um, found out laser um, LASIK is when um, they're able just to go ahead and just cut. If you want to just keep going if you don't want to hear. It's kind of TMI or scary to talk about. LASIK surgery is when they cut your eye and then they clean it out and then they laser it and you actually can smell it it's crazy I can't describe the smell it smells like it's burning it doesn't feel like anything because they numb your eye it's the craziest thing they keep your eye open PRK is when they that which is what I had is when they rub off a layer of your eye and then they you know clean it out and then they laser it and then they put a contact over it so the difference is between the PRK and the laser, the LASIK, is that within a day you can see crystal clear on the LASIK. On the PRK, it's longer, can take six to nine months. Um, I just had my three-month checkup. I'll let you know my results um, for you for it to be clear. So in that first week, I lost three days of work. I was not aware I was going to lose time off work. Um, because I didn't do my research, I should have, and I, and I next time I know, and I can give advice to people now on the PRK surgery. It was scary. I cried. I literally had to go super close to the monitor because I couldn't see, and it scared me. It scared me so bad. I had anxiety. I was stressed. I was like, "What did I just do to myself? Um, maybe I made a mistake." Um, I was all over the blogs. I had to close my eyes for a couple of days. I was really. I couldn't run all of it. I did home workouts at home, but it was my house is dark. But I couldn't run outside. It, it, it was the scariest thing I've ever done in my life. Praying to God and Jesus that I would get my vision back. Um, so 
After a few weeks, it started to become clear. And I was like, okay, it's working. I feel so much better. What a relief. But still was scared. Even up to today until I got my last checkup, I got some awesome news. Because I told him, this is my three-month checkup. Um, they play, they pay more close attention on the PRK. They see you after one month, three months, six months, and after that, it's a year. Um, so before I had my LASIK surgery, I was 2,400 on this left eye. Like I said, I could not see but the big E. One month ago, I was 2060. As of today, both eyes are 2020. I'm so happy. I can't believe it. But I asked him, I said, it's still hazy on this left eye. He says, you have a little bit of haze. It'll go away over time. I'm like, okay. It wasn't as bad as it was in the beginning. So, um, because it's still just foggy. I'm trying not to shake the phone. I do apologize. So that's my experience. Um, so far I'm so happy. I'm officially no glasses, 20, 2020 in both eyes. Eventually a few years down the road, I'll probably need reading glasses to see up close because the LASIK I chose or the laser I chose helps me to see far. Now I can see people when they're Especially, I know my hubby is happy because he was worried about me driving all the time. He was worried about me running it in the morning when it was dark. Um, I can see people coming up to me now. I can read things now that are farther. It's not all though perfect because, like I said, I'm still hazy on the left eye. There's a little bit of a fog. But for me, like, when he did that, the spoon thing and he was like, you are 2020. I'm like, wow, I can't believe it. Legit 2400 to 2020 in three months. So I'm so, so happy. I'm at peace um, that I made the right decision, that I trusted the, the process and everything. Um, I was so scared. I'm not going to lie. I cried. I was stressed out. You can ask hubby. I talked to friends, family. It was anxiety and everything. Um, so I do recommend it. I do re recommend you taking a few days off from work to warn your boss. <laughs> Um, yeah, I did not know that was going to happen to me, but everybody heals different. Everybody heals different, but because I work in front of a monitor, um, next time I know and what to say to people, not, not like I'm going to have the surgery again, but now I know what to say to people. So in everything in life, especially, and I want to relate this back to, um, losing weight just because I am a health coach. So when I talk to people and they're, you know, the first few weeks, they don't lose weight or they're gaining weight or they are losing weight, but then they get in a stagnant mode. I always tell people, and this is what I had to remind myself to trust the process, trust it. Um, that yes, it's scary. Yes. You're putting yourself out there. Um, you don't know, you know, the grander scheme of things that this is going to work and you know, there's a vision, there's a grander vision and everything, but you got to trust yourself to know that you can do this, you can stay strong. Um, I had to overcome a lot of anxiety because of this surgery and I was scared even going today. I'm like, please, please tell me my vision's improved and it has. So I'm really, really happy. So anyways, in everything, any aspect of life, whether you're, ch whatever journey that you decide to do, trust everything within you and just put it out there that everything's going to be okay. Um, this is all happening for a reason. I'm choosing this path and I'm going to stick with it because I believe in it. So anyways, I love you guys. Have a great, great Saturday. That was my video challenge of the day, but also good news as part of it. I'm 2020, baby. I'm so pumped. So I hope you guys have a great day. If you haven't pushed play it or ran or whatever, get out there and do something that is good for your heart. And I'll talk to you guys soon.